We make grain drying and storage and handling equipment, so in some sense we help feed the world. Uh, we make corrugated grain bins that are common in Iowa farms, and as well as portable dryers and the in-bin drying equipment and legs, conveyors, and a variety of handling and storage equipment for grain. Primarily in the Midwest, where grain is grown, um, and the two things we're involved is drying and storing grain. Uh, corn and rice, particularly, are two grains that normally need to be dried. And then you also have wheat that in the U.S. usually doesn't need to be dried, uh, but overseas does. So you've got the drying aspect of it and then uh, the storage, because one of the great losses from the farm to people consuming food is the storage loss that happens. Our percent of business overseas has grown considerably. Uh, now with the downturn that's uh, happened a couple years ago, uh, the international was affected more by that than domestically. In really the large sense, it hasn't changed us too much. It's still trying to provide the same products and the benefits uh, to customers, but you have to adapt more to cultural expectations in these countries and uh, uh, the key thing is getting matched up with distributors or salespeople uh, that know how to fit your product into the other countries. There's two key skills. One is the technical skills, whether it's math, reading, use of uh, machinery, technical devices, and the other is the people side of it, uh, people's attitudes, their uh, ability and willingness to work hard, to hustle, to try and do the best irregardless of what job they're in. And they're very equally important and we can teach some things and other things are a little bit more innate within the person. The biggest problem that I see right now is just that we are drowning in information or that, in that it's so hard to sort. You can sort out things and sort out the important from the unimportant uh, in that manner. It is so easy to obtain the information and that, but then how you translate that into action is the, the critical thing and sort out the uh, interference and noise from the major uh, theme that you need to dwell upon. We've had a good pool of applicants just from the economic situation right now and in Iowa's continually been faced over the years and it's kind of a chicken or egg type thing uh, the companies say we need more employees and uh, the people and the graduates here from the state, whether it's high school or college, say we need more jobs here uh, so that we'll stay in the state rather than move on. I know I heard a presentation from the uh, Iowa state statistician or whatever and said for the last century, Iowa's number one export has been its youth. The thing that we see, uh, the math skills and training for people coming here to work at our plant, the basic uh, employees in the, on the shop floor, uh, is math, being able to do basic math, uh, reading tape measure. Uh, we find some difficulties, people, uh, kids having problems with uh, decimals. Uh, we use a lot, you know, nine sixteenths. And, uh, that confusing people or fractions, an eighth of an inch, that type of thing, and uh, translating between decimals and fractions and uh, some basic measuring type things. I know one uh, manager told me, you know, the, the thinking skills are just kind of, kind of surprised that he assigned a, uh, a new employee to cut out. He needed 25 boards 15 inches long and that when he went to cut them, he measured each one individually, marked it, mm -hmm. and then cut it 25 times, as versus making a template 
or setting a stop or uh, you know thinking a little what's the most efficient way to do this and of course a lot of that comes with experience and the foreman can help guide uh, but uh, frankly in companies and that we're looking for people that just see and think and run and hustle on their own uh, to do it the most efficient way because we're certainly seeing that there's people in India and uh, all across the world that are very willing to uh, do all sorts of jobs that we do here and uh, are being paid a fraction of what uh, we pay here right now. We were very startled. I just heard that our one of our major competitors is now doing all their design work and quoting work from uh, India now. And I didn't think it had come to our industry that we certainly know in the tele marketing and the service industries of uh, computers and uh, many of these, but uh, uh, technical that we're truly in a global competition and uh, we're finding more and more, none of us are entitled to anything. We're gonna have to keep working very hard and hopefully the creativity that's always been a strong point of the American workforce can pull through, but nothing is uh, there for uh, being, to be taken granted of. Well, because it's always been this in our recent memory, you know, like 20 years, we always assume that that uh, means the norm uh, forever in the future. I had once heard uh, that in the last uh, 20 centuries, 2,000 years, that China has not been a dominant empire and culture in only two of those 20 centuries. And those centuries were the 1800s and 1900s, which we assume is the norm that, uh, of that, but we're certainly seeing as the 20th century was the American century, uh, that it appears that the uh, 21st century will be the Chinese century and the tremendous growth and the masses of people and the tremendous achievements. And uh, we're gonna have to run hard and work hard and uh, use our minds, but um, I get a little concerned that the uh, publicity and conventional wisdom is it's all creativity. We gotta have solid, hard workers, people that hustle and uh, try and do a better way and give their whole heart to the job, irregardless of whether it's a job they dislike or not. Because the best way to get out of a job you don't like is to do a good job and get, be seen as someone who can do greater things in other areas. Teach the basics, I mean the, the math, the skills, uh, estimating things, being able to figure things out in your head, uh, whether something is reasonable or not. Uh, you see errors or things that different uh, uh, things where people just have no clue by a measurement whether that's a realistic problem or that along the line. Uh, the other, you know, important thing is uh, discipline and dependence and that, of being on time to the job, being uh, functional. Uh, uh, somebody once said, you know, more than half of a job is just being there and uh, showing up, uh, being enthusiastic, polite to your co-workers, being helpful. And uh, one of the things I was once told, and certainly true, is uh, you help get ahead yourself by helping others to get ahead. One of the key factors or things to instill is respect, that uh, respect of people for others. You know, you don't see it too often, but every now and then I run into a younger person, say in their 20s, and referring to me as, Mr. Sukup, we've become so informal and everything on uh, first name basis, which, you know, there's uh, nice that we don't have a rigid formality or aristocracy as the Europeans have had in the past. But on the other, I think it serves the youth and it serves our schools well to train the students that uh, of respect of Mr. or Ms. or 
uh, the proper greetings that teachers wear, uh, shirts and ties, or dress up and present it, because it is a sign of respect to the people that you're working with.